In this video, I want to go over COVID-19's effect in Canada by using official statistics from the Government of Canada's website. Now these numbers are always going to be changing on a daily basis, but the last number from the Government of Canada website is tracking for December 18th, 2020. So those are the statistics I'm going to use and I'm going to put uh, their charts up on the screen so that you see. So here's first three numbers that you need to know. First, the population of Canada as of 2019 is 37.59 million. Now the total number of cases since the beginning of the pandemic to December 18, 2020 in Canada is 426,762. And of those total cases, there were a number of 13,579 COVID-19 related deaths in Canada. Now the first thing you need to know about COVID-19 is it drastically affects the elderly more than the young. Often we can be confused when we hear a total number of cases, but then we get a different picture when we break it down by age group. So that's what I want to do right here to show you a couple key significant age groups. And once again, this information comes directly from the Government of Canada website. So they say that those who are age 49 or less, this is everybody under the age of 50, in Canada since the beginning of the pandemic, there have been a total of 144 deaths. Now, if we were to increase that number to say everybody under the age of 60, you add an additional 341 deaths. That is a total of 485 deaths. So since the start of the pandemic in Canada, 13,579 people have died as of December 18th, 2020. And of that number, 485 of them were under the age of 60. That means the rest of them were older, the vast majority. So what this means is that if you are 60 years of age or younger, and you have caught COVID-19, your recovery rate based on the accurate statistics from the start of the pandemic to December 18, 2020 is 99.89%. 99.89% is your likelihood of recovery if you have COVID-19 and are under the age of 60. Now to add more age to that, if you are under the age of 70 and you have COVID-19, your chance of recovery based on the statistics is 99.6%. So if you are under the age of 70 and you contact coronavirus, there is less than a half of 1% of a chance of you dying from it. The vast majority are going to recover. Now those statistics are for those who have already been infected with COVID-19, but the vast majority of Canadians won't be. And for those, any age group, any person in Canada, there is a 99.96% chance that you will not get coronavirus and die. Any age group. Now, if you want to take that and make that number smaller, if those Canadians who are under the age of 60, just imagine, every single Canadian under the age of 60, what is your chances that you will catch coronavirus and die the chance is 99.9987% chance that that will not happen. Now, those are the facts. Those are just indisputable for Canadians. But now I want to appeal to your common sense based on those numbers. What people cannot dispute is this virus affects mainly those who are age 70 and older. So if the vast majority of people who this affects are the elderly, does it make sense to apply lockdowns, masking, social distancing, rules and regulations to everybody across the board the same? Or does it make more sense to give focus protection to those who are the most vulnerable. You may not be aware, but three of the top medical scientists who are professors, medical professors at Harvard, 
Oxford and Stanford, they have produced what is called the Great Barrington Declaration. Now, it's, it's a very short read, just like a page or a page and a half, and it's available to be read online. Now, as of January 2021, this Great Barrington Declaration has been signed by over 13,000 medical and public health scientists, as well as over 39,000 medical practitioners. So this is not just the opinion of three leaders in their field who are both medical doctors and medical professors at three of the best universities, but this has also been co-signed by medical scientists and medical practitioners. So please read it, but I wanna tell you what their conclusion is with the coronavirus. They recommend what they call focus protection. Now, based on the information that we have, those statistics, just ask yourself, does this make better sense? They say the most compassionate approach that balances the risks and benefits of reaching herd immunity is to allow those who are at a minimal risk of death to live their lives normally, to build up immunity to the virus through natural infection, while better protecting those who are at highest risk. We call this focused protection. Make sure you read the rest of the Great Barrington Declaration, and if you agree with it, you can sign it, share it, and advocate for it yourself.